Hi, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the new Bruin variant that you guys can unlock within Warzone and Plunder. For all you guys uh, that play Plunder, Warzone, or anything like that, or just want to unlock this variant, this is the video to watch. So yeah, if you do enjoy this type of content, make sure you do leave a like on this video. Make sure you do subscribe. It helps me out as a content creator, so hopefully you can reach 700 subs or even 1,000 subs one day. And yeah, let's get into it. So if you guys want to see what the Bruin variant looks like, it's it looks pretty decent i mean if you are a collector i would definitely recommend this uh because i see a lot of people are trying to collect like the most variants that they can stuff like that so i mean it does come down to your guys's personal preference so the Bru uh Bruin variant guys unlock is called firebrand uh it reminds me a lot of an smg that you used to get so in that smg i'll quickly put it on i'll put overkill just so i can show you guys what what smg i'm talking about there's there is a smg that's similar it's called for it's for the bison it's something i think it's called more killing more doing if you guys look it's basically the same if you guys can tell it's another dynamics variant type of deal so we've been getting a lot of these dynamics variants so i'm pretty sure we're gonna get like a few more before the season er, for the season ends so i mean for all those people who love this dynamic orange one for the bison you'll get another one for the bruin so yeah it's called the firebrand one it comes with the bruin 18.0 uh um then we got the 60 round mags then we got rubberized grip tape integrated hybrid and no stock obviously this isn't the you know stuff that you can be rocking but i would uh, you know if you do have the tournament variation from the bruin from i think it was the you know pre from the previous season you can combine certain parts from that bruin variant and you know if you guys want to you guys can put a firebrand version uh stuff like that instead of the white and blue you guys can put the white and or black and orange um stuff like that combine little things here and there to make your own you know Bruin variant but that's up to you guys but you guys do unlock the more kill or not more killing firebrand one so a lot of people would like this and stuff like that i'll quickly go over how it looks with different camos because i don't think the other camos are going to look that good so here's the base variant um it looks pretty straightforward so those people who like the base variant you know it's gonna look pretty decent i'm not going to change the attachments to mine but i'll leave how it is so you guys can see what it looks like with different attach or different per uh, camos so here's the base variant then we got gold um Obviously, I wouldn't recommend using any camels on this. Um, if you are going to be rocking camels, I only would rock it on that tournament variation of the Bruin. But, um, you know, it's up to you guys if you have all these camels. Uh, Platinum still looks decent. You know, Platinum's always going to be shiny and stuff like that. That's what I like about this game. But hopefully we get Diamond back. I miss Diamond, so hopefully we can get Diamond back in the next COD. And actually bring back memories. So for all those players who do like that. Then we have Damascus. Uh, Damascus just looks really like a big chunk of blue on this. But... I mean, if it's worth it, if you know, if you guys really want this, you know, certain camo on it. Uh, but I still think the base uh, variant of the more killing we're doing looks better on this. Now I almost have obsidian on it, so then you know, the um, obsidian just looks whatever on this gun. But so if you guys want to know how to unlock this, I did the Easter egg already, so you guys just will see gameplay in the background throughout this video, um, and it'll show like how everything looks and stuff like that. So what you guys want to do is when you, I would recommend going plunder. I mean, if you are a Warzone player, um, and you strictly are Warzone, you could do this in Warzone. I've seen people do this uh, to use a special bonus because you guys, if you guys didn't know, you guys get a bunch of rewards from doing this. You guys get the new variant. You guys are guaranteed a Juggernaut. Um, and if some some people got advanced UAVs, and you guys are guaranteed a minigun and the all specials bonus, which basically gives you every single perk in the game on your guns as well. So a lot of people forget how specials works, but you get you you know FMJ, all that sleight of hand, all that stuff, everything on your guns and you get every perk in the game stuff like that but what basically what you want to do is once you go to the city hall building in downtown you have to go to a certain keypad and when you go to that keypad you guys have to uh put in 2179 and what happens was when you put that code in uh like a gas room type of effect happens um and occurs in that room so what you're supposed to do is i you know you could do this by yourself i feel like it's a little bit more harder if you do this by yourself because you're gonna have to memorize all the paintings because all the paintings are um tied in with this so every you know if i you before you type in that code look around look at the paintings and so you guys memorize what each painting is what i would do is like have a little piece of paper um you'll put a letter for each painting so you guys memorize you know like if there's a bearded one uh you know type in b or like or not write b on your note, little notepad if there's a mountain type m you know stuff like that so you guys memorize what each painting is and because those are tied into the keypad so that's what you guys gotta do that so once you do the keypad and you type in uh what's called 2179 like i said gas effect and then you guys are gonna have to head over to the computer um i was the guy that was designated with the computer just to type in the code I've messed up multiple times because, um, 
you guys have to go at the paintings. So their jobs, like my friend's jobs, were looking at the paintings, and you guys have to add or subtract from the base painting. So every painting has numbers underneath them. You guys gotta know your Roman numerals. And once you go to those, uh, once you know those no uh, numbers, you basically whatever it says on the computer, if it says add, subtract from that number that's on the plate. So if it says seven, for example, on the plate, you want to subtract two from what it says on the menu, and you know that would be five. And you put that in the particular order that it tells you to. So if I started off with the mountain painting, I have to you know whatever let's say i got five on the wall and told me to track two you know i'm gonna get three so my first number is gonna be three so you guys gotta do that for the other paintings in order so we put that in and then after that it's gonna make like a little noise and basically tell you okay you guys can leave you know it took me a couple of attempts uh because um they wanted me to attempt it because i, I had to understand uh how to put in the code it's basically all the numbers are cut off so you guys gotta enter the top half of the numbers like top half of five for example and then um top half of the four top four numbers and then the bottom so it's like it's kind of confusing if you guys don't know and yeah so once you do that you basically take a heli and you go to the building in um near airport it's a little subway station that everyone can go to once you go there you go to a little computer you activate the uh subway and there should be a train that you go to it's specifically a one that's going to pop up on your guys' little subway station and once you go in it you'll see the word maintenance pop up on the screen and that that's how you know you guys are going to the correct one if it doesn't say maintenance you're in the wrong train so make sure you guys go in the correct one and you know it'll take you to the right place it basically takes you all the way to the top of dam and a lot of people specialized or speculated uh what i meant to say was um there was like this little cargo ship or something like a something that was underneath and a lot of people didn't know this i think a lot of people talked about it uh, a couple seasons ago and it was something that was floating around there a lot of people thought it was like a bomb or something or um you know a shark or something like that but it's actually this train that was underneath there and i feel you know it's pretty obvious because the thing is where the train pops up on that map are uh, in dam is literally the correct like just straight down where it was where a lot of people saw the train initially but yeah, so once you go, it'll take you straight to over there, and within a certain room, you guys will see the uh, variant. It's not going to pop up on your screen saying, like, oh, you know, new LMG unlocked, which I was kind of, like, bummed out about. But, yeah, it's going to be the new LMG. That should pop up on your guys' screen, and then you guys will walk around. You guys are guaranteed a minigun, um, the juggernaut, so that, that's going to be really OP if you use that. Because, But at the same time, you guys have to do this Easter egg and do it quickly as possible at the beginning of the game. And you get a lot of money. There's a lot of legendary chests and stuff like that. I wouldn't go. I mean, if you already have the variant and you guys can still go over there because it's worth the specialist bonus because you are guaranteed um, all your specialists. So you guys get high alert as well. So if someone's aiming at you, like behind you, you'll know. And that's I feel like that's going to be broken down the line. Like they're breaking this game to a certain extent. And it's crazy. So I kind of like all this broken stuff that they're adding. But it's going to piss off a lot of people in the, a lot, uh, in the you know, long run. I see people commenting all over Call of Duty's posts and stuff like that on Xbox. Or even on Twitter saying like fix your game, fix your game, fix your game. But I mean, hey, I mean at least it, a lot of people wanted some broken type of stuff for once. I mean we haven't had broken stuff in a cool minute. So it'll eventually be fixed. Or who knows by the video comes out um by the time this video comes out who knows stuff might be fixed but like, like i was saying you guys do are you guys are guaranteed an lmg juggernaut um the all specials bonus there should be like two or three of them so if you are running a squad you know at least you guys have that and also when you do die um do know your specials bonus does drop with you so i think it will be on your dead body so someone else can pick it up stuff like that so you guys you know if someone does kill you and your team is alive and he's running away just know that that squad is has your specialist bonus one of them do so you guys also do want to kill them you know get your specialist bonus back stuff like that and then people are notified when you do call in a juggernaut it'll pop up on the map um etc so and there is advanced uavs as well so straightforward if you call in three uavs you get advanced but instead you guys just pick up an advanced uav it's an automatic advanced uav and people who do have ghosts do not pop up on the mini map sometimes they do sometimes they don't it's a bit of, it's a bit of conspiracy so i'm gonna just say that they don't uh just you know just because because i feel like some people get confused but yeah those are all the rewards you guys get um mainly for the variant for the bruin you know let me know in the comments below if you guys like this easter egg or um you know it is something different i've done multiple easter eggs at this point i've done the mp7 one i've done the stadium one and now this one so it's cool that we're getting a bunch of easter eggs so who knows if we get more down the line we just have to wait and see maybe something with the zombies mode that comes out um around october 15th i think it is so we'll see when that stuff comes around i know we're gonna get a lot of skins especially for people who like to buy stuff so we'll see how everything looks um and there is an aa12 coming a lot of people have been saying that they saw it in the trailer so we'll see when that comes out but yeah that's gonna be it for my video uh make sure you do leave a like on this video make sure you do subscribe and also turn on your notifications so you guys aren't missing out on any new videos dropping soon especially with season 16 
being here. I'm gonna drop out as much content as I possibly can because it's a new season and there's a bunch of stuff to talk about. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys. Hey.